helpline for anybody who's struggling with the mental health. And we've used them many times before. We've signposted a lot of our students to them. And they had this amazing bench to give us. Now, a bench doesn't sound very exciting for a student degree. <laughs> and one of the big market things we had was, how do we make a bench exciting? But that was answered the minute the bench went downstairs. Once we finished here, we'll go and have a look at it. Before it had even got settled, there were two janitors sitting on it saying, this is bra, this is amazing, look at the quality of this, and they were really impressed with it. And every time I've gone past, somebody's sitting on it, just taking a minute to think. We'd originally wanted to install it outside first, but I'm really glad we didn't, because I think it's really nice people get to know it's there, what it's for, what it's doing for the, the students. And the idea is that then, if you're overwhelmed, by your day. You can go and sit on this bench, you'll be overlooking the Crichton grounds which are designed to make your mental health better. That was the whole point of them. These poems will be in a little display unit beside and on the back of the bench on the plaque is the helpline number. So at the point when somebody needs it most they've got that lifeline, they can just get their mobile phone out, they can phone it. Um, so we just love the idea. The feedback we've had from students who've passed me when I've been setting it up mm -hmm. is, what a great idea. That's so well thought through. So what I'll do now is hand over to Tony to talk a little bit about breathing space. After that, I'll tell you why we chose these three poems as the winners of our poetry competition for the breathing space poem. And then we'll all just go down and we'll cut the ribbon. Nibby's, uh, Nikki's going to cut the ribbon for us um, and get a few photos if people are comfortable to do that. Okay, um, so I shall hand Thank over you. to Tony this now. Thanks very much, Sue. Um, my name's Tony McLaren. I'm the National Coordinator for NHS Living Life and Breathing Space at NHS 24. And basically that job description is just anything that NHS 24 tells me to do uh, within the realms of mental health. So it's an absolute delight to be here uh, in this beautiful place of learning. Um, and I'd like to announce today that this is the very first college in Scotland to have a breathing space bench. And other colleges will follow in the wake of Dumfries and uh, Galloway College. Um, so there's a bit where it's a, um, it's a real exciting morning for us, for Karina and I. This will be our fifth bench in Scotland. We have one in Bigger in the town centre on the main street. We have one in Troon on the Esplanade. And we have one at Strathclyde University and one at Paul Calls in Edinburgh University. The way the bench evolved was that, unfortunately, I go to too many funerals of young people whose distress overwhelms them so much that uh, they decide to take their own life. It seems that um, no choices are left for people who end up completing suicide. And with this money I've received, I thought, well, I'm not going to buy stamps and envelopes and rubbish like that. I think we have to invest this money in something that's a long tail to it. So the idea of the bench came up, and Corinne and I were thinking that, you know, that when I'm dead and buried, the bench will still be here in some, in some small way. But the bench, it does signify more than just a place for sitting, as, as you're intimating there. The bench is a place, uh, they have in Africa, uh, listening benches for young people that feel bullied at school and the likes. Um, we, we're kind of trying to instill the idea of it being a listening bench, but more a, a bench of conversation. A place where conversations can take place. Now, my, my youngest is 13 years of age, and she refers to her dad as weird. And I, I think I've actually aspired to that <laughs> nomenclature over, over all these 60 years of my life. But I'm now slightly weird, because there is the bit where, think of an ordinary park bench. Would you go and sit beside someone on a park bench? If I was sitting on a park bench, right, would you come and sit beside me? No, that man looks a bit too weird. We weren't going to sit there. And if any of you were sitting on a park bench, I probably wouldn't sit beside you because a bench is a kind of private space in some way. Once you sit on the bench, this is my space. This is my bench. And there's something about the breathing space bench which is also invitational to us as students and as lecturers and workers here in the college. And if someone's sitting on the bench, you almost like have permission to sit beside them. 
and ask questions like we do in the NHS, like, what matters to you today? What's happening for you? How are you? I work at Strathclyde University and also at the Hamden Sports Clinic, and a lot of these questions are really, really pertinent. And I'm sure these questions are pertinent for our college community. How are you today? And if we're sitting at a bench, we've got the time to ask that question and to hear someone's response. So we know that listening is not just about getting our own words in there, but literally hearing what the other person has to say. Within the Scottish Prison Service, we introduced the a Talk To Me programme. Uh, and I think it's really good, but, but within these four walls, I wanted to be called Listen To Me rather than Talk To Me. And I still pertain to that idea that it's the, the listening to me that's so important for anyone's development as a human being. And we are human beings rather than human doings. So there's something about the being with someone that's really, really important. Even if that being is in silence. That ability to be with someone in their pain or in their distress, we are offering them our time. And what a precious resource that is, particularly this busy time of the year when we're all running around like headless chickens. Or is that just me? I don't know. So something about this bench is, is uh, donated uh, to the college uh, in friendship. Um, and we, we just hope that you are able to use the bench and maybe to share stories with us about the bench. Uh, in Bigger, last year they had a wee Christmas carol concert on the main street around the bench. And I thought it was just lovely. Because this isn't our bench. We're not telling you what to do with the bench. You make that bench the Dumfries bench. This is what you're going to do with it, wherever you end up putting it. Hopefully there's maybe footfall there or whatever. Uh, whatever you end up, don't paint it. 